In this tutorial, I'm going to show you where to find and how to use Visual Composer templates. And this does require a paid license for Visual Composer. If it comes built into your theme, you likely do not have access to the templates. You have to get it through a license from Code Canyon. I'll explain more about that in the tutorial, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so YouTube actually tells you when I publish new stuff. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start learning some stuff. I'll see you there. To check out the templates that come with Visual Composer, first you guys start up a page. So we're going to go to a page, or a post for that matter, I'm just going to do a page, click on add new, and then I'm just going to name it appropriately, call it VC templates, just so I know what it is if I look back at it later. I prefer the front end editor just because it's so much easier to do it in line and see the changes live without having to save the page, refresh the page, etc, etc. So I'm going to hop over the front end editor and then we're going to check out these templates. There's a button up here in the top left. It looks like a template and it actually is the templates button. So click on there. And here we have the my templates area. Currently there's nothing going on. You'd see a list of templates down below here. If you had anything going on, you can create pages and then save them as a template. So if you create this awesome page that you want to use over and over, you can actually just enter a name here, my awesome template, and then just click on save. And then that becomes a template in your site, which is pretty cool. But what we're really looking at here is the template library that comes with the direct purchase license of Visual Composer. So we head over to the template library and we can click this button to access the library. At the time of this recording, there are 85 templates in here and they're all different types of pages. We have an about page, multiple about pages, hero pages, showcase pages, and you can go through these and, and find ones you like clearly. And before you commit to one, you click on a magnifying glass, hover over any of them, click on the magnifying glass, and you see a preview of what that would look like. So maybe we want to do a hero section with a call to action. It looks very nice with that forest there. If you found one you like, click on this download template button, or if you already know you want it, click on this little down arrow instead of the magnifying glass and download it right there. Wait a few moments as it downloads and it pops it into the templates area. So we exit the template library. And now we have right here in small print, hero section call to action. That's the template we just downloaded. Click on this little plus icon to add to the page. And that's how easy it is. It even has a nice little parallax effect on that background image, which is pretty sweet. If you want to know how to create that parallax effect without using a template, I've got a video on that in this playlist as well. So check that out. But that's how easy it is to add these templates. So we have this hero section and maybe you want more on this page or you want another template down below it. You hop back in here, go to the template library, access it, and maybe you want to have services with intro. Looks pretty good, let's download that. It's downloaded, go back to the library, services list with intro, click on plus, and now it appears down below this header area. So doing this, as you can probably tell, you can really quickly lay out a page. You could even do it right with a client while they're sitting there with you. Clearly you would say it's not this easy. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that you're gonna do when you get back to your office, but you can lay it out with the client. And that saves so much back and forth via email or phone calls by just doing it right there. But that's the power of these templates and they're really professionally done. They're really quite awesome. And that's about all there is. I encourage you to pop in there to the template library and just test this out. But this area will be grayed out unless you have a direct purchase license, meaning you bought it right from Code Canyon for, uh, I believe it's $34. If you got Visual Composer with a theme, this template library is not active. But what you can do, even if you got it with a theme, you can still purchase the direct license and activate Visual Composer within the theme, and then you do get the template library. One more note, if you download a lot of these, it might get a little bit cluttered, because as, as you saw, it's really easy to download them. So there's no reason to save them on your site and clutter up this menu. You can always click this little trash can and then you remove it from the site. And then you can always go back and download it again. It doesn't remove it from the page. So when you add it to the page, it stays there, even if you delete it from your template library. And if it turns out that you really enjoy having these templates, you can actually get more. So there's 85 that were built in to Visual Composer at the time of this recording, and they keep adding more as time goes by. But if you go over to Code Canyon, and I just searched for Visual Composer template, 
We have here a template manager to help you manage your templates better. The mega pack of add-ons and templates for $10. If you look through that, I'm sure there's a bunch of awesome templates in there. There's just a whole bunch of, I mean, there's over 150 add-ons that do various things, but there's a lot that add templates to your site. So if you really like the template and you're willing to spend $10 instead of manually making all these pages, which is a good investment because your time is worth more than $10, then having the Visual Composer template packs is really powerful. As you know, Visual Composer is a premium plugin which you can buy from codecanning.net. If you buy it through the link below, I get a couple percentage of the purchase price. There's no extra cost to you, but what I'm gonna send to you if you buy it through that link is my complete Visual Composer course for free because basically I'm being paid by the Visual Composer instead of paid by you. So I'm gonna give you that course for free. All you have to do is send me the receipt after you purchase Visual Composer and I will get you access to that course. If you have a theme that has Visual Composer so you don't actually buy the plugin, you won't have access to the template library and a couple other features, but I will give you a heavy discount for the Visual Composer course if you have a theme that has Visual Composer. So if that's the case, just send me an email at bjorn at wplearninglab.com. Say you have such and such a theme with Visual Composer and I will send you the discount information. So the next step is go ahead, click below, buy Visual Composer, send me the receipt, learn all about it in my complete course and start building awesome stuff with Visual Composer. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and click the bell notification icon so you're actually notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.